I just unplugged the light and put the fan on because it is a thousand degrees in here. So <laughs> snorting <laughs> Woo! raise the roof it's pumping spice rum and coke represent all the ladies are on the rums <laughs> is in the kitchen. I repeat, Mitch is in the kitchen. Grace, you have to, you have to go get him. Why is he still in there? He's in the kitchen. He's fully in the kitchen. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> Mitch is in the kitchen. The rule for tonight is to, like, at this pub is to talk to a stranger and Mitch is fully in the kitchen. Guys, did he find somebody that he I don't likes? know. He's I'm fully really in. Scared. Oh, he's I coming out. Great. Does he actually know people here? Yeah, he doesn't. He's so good at this. What the hell? Is oh my he, god. How has he not been picked out yet? Know. Oh, there's a moose. Kind of there's a moose me. right there. Oh, he's See? so nice. So cute. Oh, Mitch! <laughs> <laughs> Why were you in the kitchen? What, what what did you learn? What did you learn? Their best recommendations for the restaurant burgers are hella bomb. Okay, are you gonna get a burger? Are we gonna have food here? This is where we should have food. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Okay, so we are on pub six. I got the rooftop lemonade. What drink did you get? The dark and stormy? Have you tried it? Yeah. Is it good? So good. Do you regret it? A little bit, yeah. Have a sip of mine. I guarantee you'll like it. It's the rooftop lemonade. It's sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to try mine? Yeah, I've never had a duck. This one is good. I like this one. Just bring it. Oh, it up. Oh, it's a great help. What did you order? I'm not a ginger fan. The rule for this pub is to talk to a stranger. I haven't done it yet. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know, Grace. Are you filming this? Yeah. Are you wide angle? No, no. There we go. This is my face. We just we just, just want like only double chin. Fat, fat looking. Yeah. <laughs> we, we want this angle. So you were the I love it. <laughs> Put that on the internet, Mitch. Double chin. Double chin, Josh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're the one that couldn't he couldn't do the double chin. We tried this at Christmas. And my mom was like, that's not a double chin. We sent a photo to my mom. I'll show you. I'll show you the photo. <laughs> No joke, we sent a photo to my mom and dad. I can't do it. I tried. I tried. Oh, here we go. So, this is my photo with Grace. That's an amazing double check. How many years have been doing this? Amazing. So, like, 80 years, 90 years. I have been doing this since like 2012. Ask them if that's Canada. Is that Canada for you? <laughs> I just love that you put the flat part. <laughs> okay guys, we found between the TV there's a big bunch of items and clothing. I think they're all bras. Grace, are those bras hanging up? Between the TVs, what is that? I'm zooming in, my eyesight's... But then there's a scarf, like a Vancouver scarf. Do you think they're bras? Yeah, me too. Do you think people have donated them here or yeah. left them here? Like, what's the story? Just so you know, that's Annika and that's Tim, and they're from Australia. They're, a they're Australian. You found the only Aussies in the bar. Are they lovely? And they've been here for nine years. Nine years. Where are they from? I said, I, I said if they come by, they should say hello to us. Yes! That's fantastic. That's so sweet. We love them already. Nine years. You did seem to be having like, the best conversation with them. Grace. Are we going to the Yale Saloon or what? Are you pumped? Are you pumped? Are you ready? Are you ready? We loved Annika and Tim. Grace, just describe them and describe them in three words. I think they are fucking Aussie. Yep. Delight. Lovely. Yep. Delight. Lovely delight Aussie. Yeah. No, 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 oh, no, no. Yale Saloon's this way. Wait, wait. Yeah. Yale Saloon is yeah, definitely this way. This way, this way guys. Mitch, you're out of it. Grace, have you ever heard the saying, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> not a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> not at I, all. I, I found your hoop on the ground. And Just then... so you know, I only got big hoop earrings because I need the attitude and I don't have attitude. Look <laughs> at me. Do, you do have attitude. <laughs> do you're I? showing it right now. Sure? You do have attitude. You're okay. Sydney. That, Thank it, you. It's, it's, but it I say sorry a lot. That's, that's, that's not attitude. Canadian. That's like... But it's also just like being a kind person. I need these. You need the hoop. I need for the attitude. For the attitude. <laughs> Everyone needs a hoop, a good hoop. I've got my fuzzies on. I don't know what that says about me. Maybe that I'm a little bitch. Who knows? Um, so we're heading to Yale Saloon. They're ahead of us. They're ahead. Okay. They're ahead. No, don't touch me. <laughs> just, just move, Grace. Just, just move and you'll be fine. I like to hold on to me. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my God.
hate. It was, it's a little it was bit scary. Tough. It's okay. Because we're, we're together. This I've is got, like, got I don't care if Sasha touches me. But it's okay. It's too hot to Update, we're doing okay. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna take a slide shot. Let's go! We're gonna go! We're gonna go. Let's go fast! Let's catch up! <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> the next pub I just unplugged the, the light and put the fan on because it is a thousand degrees in here this is next to the Jolly Bees on Granville Street so it's pretty pumping down there this is the bar it's called Taps Bar it's a very interesting place the decor is a 1 out of 10 for me it's kind of terrifying but like we're here and it was the quickest drink I ever got. What did you get girl? I got a vodka soda. Okay. Uh, I'm vlogging oh. how strange this place is. How much, what did you get? Vodka soda? Six bucks? Yeah. Bargain. What was much, how much was the beer? Five? Six? Bargain. 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 We love Tafts. What a vibe. I'm happy that the fan's on. Hi. The vlog. Oh, it's busy. Oh, it's motion. a video motion picture. It's a motion picture. A motion picture. So we're gonna get food after this. We haven't gotten food anywhere. I don't know. I think this is pub eight or nine. We're nearly there, and it is eleven oh six. And I'm hungry. I haven't had lunch. We're going strong. I've got my Moscow mule, and we're doing well. There's our hungry Jacks here. How did you know? <laughs> Beautiful little doggy. Hi doggy, hello. Hi. Oh no, don't do that. Oh. The popo, it's all happening. Wow, is this red hot chili? For the red hot chop chili peppers? I can't even speak. The red hot chili, chili peppers. Wow, is that them right there? Is that, the is that flea? It's the, it's the wish version. <laughs> Honestly, the boys. The boys needs a belt. The boy yeah. needs a belt.
Okay guys, I'm back at uh, the apartment and it is 2 a.m. I think we did 11 pubs all up. We didn't quite hit the 12 or maybe we did 10. I will recap tomorrow and go through every single pub. I'll give it a rating out of 10 um, and I will talk about kind of like the highs and lows of the evening, but what a fun night. I really recommend it to anyone who's wanting to have something different with their friends and you could do it with anything. You could do like, 12 brunch spots or 12 bakeries or 12 hikes or whatever. I don't know if you can do 12 hikes in a day, but it was so fun and I can't believe I've been out since 5 p.m. Well, I sort of left the house at four, but yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now, but I will talk to you guys in the morning. Okay, as promised, I'm gonna be going through every pub that we went to and giving them a rating out of five. I'll go through what topics can I do. Let's do pricing the vibe, the aesthetic, if they were popular or not, and the staff out of five. And then I'll rate like my favorite out of all the pubs at the end, I think. Okay, so pub number one was the Morrissey. It is kind of near Granville Street and Drake Street. So for pricing, I would say three out of five. Like the pricing was good. Uh, how much did I spend at the Morrissey? I just got one margarita and it's hard to know because I like added a tip. So let's have a look. So the Morrissey I spent $14.93. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Okay, so pricing, let's do three out of five vibe was i don't know the place was pretty vibey i think it was a good vibe there uh there was no one there but it was vibey it's it had that sort of the velvet the cocktail bar in new york kind of energy like a bit fancier be nice for a cocktail on like a first date there was a fire there uh so let's do four out of five for like vibe and aesthetic i would say four out of five as well popular one out of five. It was so early on a Saturday, but there was literally one other couple there. So very, very dead. And staff, they were really friendly. So I'd say four and a half out of five for the Morrissey. Uh, but I wouldn't like run back to it, but it'd be a good date location. So for date night, definitely not really a pub. It was more of a bar, but I, I liked it. Okay, so two parrots was the next one. It was so <laughs> chaotic in there. Uh, pricing, what did I spend? I think I got, I got two drinks in the end because it was quite cheap. So I had two drinks plus tip and it was $18.62. So very affordable. There was lots of options. It was, oh my gosh, Flo. Sorry, Flo is just crashing about behind me. Let's, what are the, okay, pricing. No, 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 come on. Come here, come on. Come here, Baba, come here. Oh, there we go. Flo is just gonna be in the, in the video. Okay, so two parrots pricing, five out of five, it was so cheap. Uh, vibe was probably like five out of five. It was a really good vibe in there. Like the music was really good. There was the hockey on. It was just very, I'm in the middle of a random town in Canada bar. Like it just felt like off the highway in a deserted town kind of energy. Aesthetic, one out of five. It was not a pretty place. It was very disjointed. Nothing sort of matched the table. Like it just wasn't pretty uh, popular, I'd say. Three out of five. It was pretty pumping when we got in there. Staff, probably three and a half or out of five. Just because the guy didn't laugh at my joke. But he was, you know, attentive enough. Um, but not really, actually. Was he? I don't know. He was, like, fine. But maybe, like, three out of five for two parrots. The Edge. <laughs> Why did Grace pick The Edge? I love Grace so much. She literally just was looking at Granville Street and was like, let's go there. Because it said social lounge, but it's literally at the bottom of a best Western hotel. Like it's not, it's just a hotel lobby restaurant. Like it's for guests to go have a drink. So we went in there. It was just so funny. It was so, we were on like a buzz and we walked in. It was dead. There was like a couple, like a family having dinner and maybe one other guy having a drink. But our server, oh my God. Okay, so pricing, 
very reasonable. How much did I spend there? I spent $10.86. So that was for a rum and coke and tip, I remember well. Um, for, yeah, pricing, five out of five. Vibe, one out of five. There was no vibe there at all. Like we brought the vibe, but there was no vibe. Aesthetic, one out of five. It was not, it was just a hotel lobby, as I said, but it wasn't anything special. Um, popular, zero out of five or one out of five, but staffing definitely, um, five out of five. Our server was so funny. I think we made his night because he was just so confused why we were doing a pub crawl. We went there. So five out of five. I, I wish I knew his name, but he was amazing. Okay. Donnellan's was a vibe. I really liked it. It was the first probably the first pub, official pub, I think we went to. $9.50 for a drink, so pricing was standard, like four out of five, I would say. And vibe was four and a half out of five. It was really vibey in there, like it was really busy, good music. We were kind of like right at the front of the space because they didn't have a table big enough for us. So we sat at like a reserve table, but we only had like 20 minutes then and we had to be gone. Aesthetic, Irish pub, so, I don't know, I think it it was a very well lit for a pub, so maybe the lighting was a bit too bright. Nothing was like exceptionally nice about it, but it had good energy, so maybe three out of five. Popular was four out of five, it was pumping in there, um, but it wasn't like packed, because it was still quite early. And yeah, staffing I would say four and a half out of five. Our server, he was so funny, he was, like young Irish guy, like good looking. He was so happy to be with our table. Like he was very, very quick to get drinks. He understood we were doing like on the phone to the president part of the pub crawl and he'd done 12 pubs before. He knew it was up, he didn't judge us. He was laughing along and he was very quick with like service and stuff, so I loved him. So next would be uh, the Good Co, which was formerly Colony. I don't know why they changed the name. It's probably an ownership thing, but I hate that it's called Good Co. Like, let's go meet at Good Co. It just doesn't sound good at all. Like, Colony was just, you know where it is, and we just called it Colony when we were there because it was just so confusing. Good Co. I don't know. Pricing, how much did I spend? Oh, I think, yeah, I think my drinks got shattered for me because I was in the washroom or something, and then I didn't pay anything at Good Co. So I thank you to whoever bought me drinks. I can't remember who it was out of the group, maybe Josh or maybe Adam. But we did, I think we just did a shot, like we did a pickleback and then we left, I can't remember. But yeah, I don't know, it was so chaotic in there. It's such a big venue and it's great for like a certain vibe, but I don't know, pricing. As we got a shot, it would have been cheap. So let's just do three out of five. Vibe, I mean, it was vibey in there. Like it was really busy and loud, but you just couldn't hear the other person talk it's so vast in there like it's a huge space like there's gaming upstairs like they had the football game on American football game and it was just a lot aesthetic I don't know I don't like the new good co branding but the place is you know it's fine um so yeah oh my god so pricing three out of five vibe three out of five aesthetic two out of five popular five out of five it was pumping and the staff were just not very attentive and not helpful but then when she came over the drinks she was really nice but it was just trying to find a table and trying to accommodate us but they were like not being the nicest so maybe two out of five the moose uh which is on nelson street so just off granville loved the moose i've been here before with my friend katie so pricing it was pretty reasonable Again, I think someone bought my, because I was taking so long with the other table, we found a table of Aussies and we had to talk to a stranger on this particular pub. So we're talking to these Aussies and I think my drink was bought for me. So I don't know how much it was, but it's a very reasonable bar. Kind of has two parrots energy, but like a level up. So I'd say pricing four out of five, vibe four out of five, aesthetic two, three out of five. It's kind of like dingy, grungy bar, but they've made, they've utilized the space really well and it's just very warm and cozy. Again, you feel like you're in a random town in the middle of Canada off a highway, but it's like a level up from two parrots is all I can say. Um, popular, I'd say like four out of five. It was really busy when we were there, but then again, we were kind of distracted. I wasn't really looking around the room, but I think it was pretty busy. And staff, 
four out of five. They were really friendly and super nice there. And yeah, it was a good time. I think this is probably one of my favorites from the night. I loved the moose and the time that we had there. Dublin calling pricing did i i think i spent money at dublin 9.25 and so yeah i'd say pricing four out of five it was a bit cheaper than donnellan's because donnellan's i think has been there for a bit longer dublin calling is it was very well lit like oh my god it was like we're in a surgery cool room it was just bright lights so like hospital lighting so that wasn't great for that but vibe four and a half out of five it was like really good music so maybe five out of five the music was insane it was like early 2000s which didn't make sense because an irish pub but like i didn't care the lighting was horrific so aesthetically it was like a one out of five because it was just really crazy ugly in there i just did but it was just i don't know the energy was great the vibe overtook the aesthetic popular four and a half five out of five. like it was really pumping in there lots of students kind of energy in there like it was just a lot of um young people and it was really you were really packed in but it kind of felt like you were in like a subway with the lighting staff five out of five she was amazing i loved her so much uh she took a selfie with me for the challenge of the 12 pubs and i believe she was irish because she understood what we were doing as well and very accommodating and got our drinks quickly and like she was just great so loved dublin calling it was a good time Next, we went, <laughs> we went, we tried to go to the Yale Saloon, but it was like $20 entry, which was a nightmare. So we didn't want to pay that. Um, and then we tried to go to cinema, but they had entry too, and the place was dead. I was like, why would I pay $15 to walk into, like, we could see how dead it was. And I'm like, cinema is so average. So I'm like, I'm not going there. So then we went to Taft's. Let me tell you, this place was so creepy i don't understand how long it's been there what it's doing it's next to jolly b it's kind of near the end of granville street near like best buy and the pacific center really random spot like very out of sorts but it was pumping so pricing five out of five it was the cheapest drink i've ever had probably one of the worst though i got a moscow mule and with tip it was seven dollars and that was with like a 20 percent tip like it was dirt cheap. I think it was like a six or five dollar drink, but it tasted like it. like it was a pretty average drink. But like if you want to get drunk quickly with your friends, go to Taft's. It was pumping in there, and I think people had the same idea. At that point, it was maybe nearly midnight. It was like eleven. Everyone else was full as well, or you had to pay entry. The staff. It was. It felt like we were in a, like a horror movie that we we're gonna die in. We got sent upstairs because there was a table there. It was like a rotten carpet, weird artwork. It felt like we were in a drug den. Very odd place, but staff were great. Surprising five out of five vibe. I mean, two out of five. There was so many people on the downstairs level, but it was just us upstairs. But aesthetic, zero. It was so ugly in there, I can't even tell you. And I felt fearful for my life. Grace's drink tasted like toilet water as well, not good. But it was really popular, so I'd say five out of five, because I said it was really busy. Staff. Four out of five, like the guy was so friendly at the front and I don't want to like say never go to Taps because it was so busy and popular. So it must be doing something right. The drinks were so cheap, really good location. If you can't find anywhere else to go, go to Taps, but don't have a vodka, uh, lime and soda. Just don't, just order something sweet and you'll get like a sweet drink. But I don't know, it just gave me weird vibes in there. I don't understand what they're trying to do with it. I get that it's a gallery cafe with the weird artwork, but it just felt like it was an, like in construction, like a construction zone. It was very odd in there. I just don't know what was going on and felt like a bit of an acid trip. I was like, what is happening? Not that I've ever taken acid, but it was just a weird, weird time in Taft's. Anyway, nearly there. So yeah, L Furniture Warehouse. Again, like half of these are not pubs, I understand, but you know, it's Vancouver and we're just working with what we got. And we just went to Granville Street because it was, we had to kind of get through these pubs. The L Furniture Warehouse was, so vibey it was such a good time loved it pricing is so cheap so five out of five i had a burger and i got yam fries added and i had i think i had two drinks and it was under 30 dollars. it was 25 28 and i think i had a shot a drink and a meal so cheap and, and a tip so yeah love our furniture warehouse it's gross but it's you know what you're getting anyway so it was pumping in there we were able to sit in like the patio a bit on the street which is heated and everything so it's like an enclosed little sun sun not a sun trap but it was made for covid and they've just left it there so it's like plastic and heated or maybe it even wasn't heated but it was just 
toasty in there. So we got sat out that side. It took forever because it was so busy in there. Like we should have just gone up to the bar to get drinks, but it doesn't matter. Um, so pricing five out of five, vibe five out of five. It was very, very like, the music was amazing. It was a lot of old school, early 2000 stuff. Aesthetic, I don't know, three out of five. It was fine. It wasn't very clean, but they were so busy. Popular, five out of five. Staff, she was so lovely and I think she did a shot with us. So she was great and she apologized and I think she took a couple of the shots off because we, we just didn't get any service. Like it was a very long wait to get served um, because they were so busy. But we were so hungry and like the hangriness overtook like anything else. We were so hangry at this point. And then lastly, we went to the Roxy and I believe we paid entry. Yeah, entry got paid for me because I think Mitch had cash. So then I paid for Mitch and Adam's drink and my drink. So that was $28 for three drinks. So pricing, let's do like two out of five because we had to like pay to get in. But then there was live music, which is a vibe. So I get why people go to the Roxy. It wasn't yeah, it was actually pretty gross when we went in. Like in terms of people were so drunk in there and we had just done like 10 pubs and we weren't as bad as a lot of people. So it was very packed in there. Surprising, let's do three out of five. Vibe, four out of five. Aesthetic, I liked it. It was four out of five. Like they had celebrities on the wall. It was kind of pinkish lighting in there. It was, yeah. It's an institution, the Roxy. I think it's been there for a long time, so it was good. Popular, five out of five. People were queuing up. Staff, three out of five. Like, they were fine. They were just sort of, the bartenders were a bit older, and they were just talking to themselves, and it wasn't as, yeah, it wasn't table service, so it was hard to get a good judge, and they were so busy. But the live music was great. I would say that that was a really good draw card. And then, yeah, that was everything. So I think the worst place that you should avoid is the edge because it's not even a bar or a club or anything like that it's literally a hotel lobby so don't bother going to the edge because it's not even anything um and also taps don't go to taps i'd say my favorite place was probably for like overall everything i'd say dublin calling and the moose i had the most fun at but then our furniture warehouse i don't know the most pub out of all of them was donnellan's and that was a good time so if you want a pub go to donnellan's if you want cheap drinks with your mates, I would go to Two Parrots or The Moose, but I'd probably go The Moose. And then I'll furniture warehouse for like a late night feed and some drinks. So that would be my picks. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It's a very different one and I really enjoyed vlogging the experience and I really want to do another one maybe in the summer and I want to start earlier because that's the thing. We just have to have someone on time so we can just get out of there because we just spent way too long at the moose which we could have made 12 we did 10 so i'm i'm pretty happy with that but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed already please hit subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and let me know if you've been to any amazing pubs along granville street that we didn't get to or i mean next time should we go to gastown and do that or main street let me know if you're from vancouver or if you've been to anywhere of note leave it in the comment section and i will see it and reply but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Forget your feelings. Show me you want it.